Hello guys, Ultima signing in here. Today I will be performing some... Sorry if my computer's lagging a bit. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, um, today I'll be performing some attributes to making Dave DeVee source maps. To get started, you want to get Source SDK. To get Source SDK, you need to go to Tools on your Steam, download it, launch. Mine's already launched, pretty nifty. Select the engine, select the current game. If you don't know what these are, you probably shouldn't be making maps. Hammer Editor to um, make maps, launch that. Mine takes a. Um, Second to launch, especially when I'm downloading some stuff and running this this thing. We'll come back to you when it's it's done. All right, we're back. Here you'll see the screen probably pop up. Go to File, New. This will pop up. We'll make a very basic map. We'll make an orange map. This is, well for me, I have mine not the way it normally comes, but if you edit yours it won't be this way. This is basically the floor, um, and these are two sides. This is 3D. First, let's make a simple map. Oh, what well, you need to click block tool, browse, and that. Make that for the form. You go on this, use the arrow keys in WASW to um, control it. Press enter to make it. And there, there's your floor, basically. Now, make walls. You want to do this, basically make the walls. It's kind of simple. Make them higher so they're walls. Press enter to apply it. Now you see we have a floor and a wall. Um, and then you just do the same thing um, basically. This is just for a basic map people who just are noobs at making maps. Over here um, Also, when you're making your walls, you want to make sure there's no, like when you're finished making your map, you want to make sure there's no black spots on your map. Otherwise, it'll just be a big mess. Just no black spots, black spots equals death. Okay, make fourth wall. Height. This is basically height. This is um, height also. Then there. We have our box. I'll show you guys how to make a skybox in my next tutorial. Anyways, I'll show you how to make spawn points. To make a spawn point, you have to go on your entity tool. Now, it's already on info player allies. That'll spawn allies if you click at the place where you want them to spawn. See, those are where allies are possible to spawn now. Over here. I'll put where you need to go to info player axis. We'll put those be right back. We'll put those so they're right there. Um alright. Now simply with that we simply have a really, really basic map. Um, um I'll show you how to make more in my next tutorials. This is basic. If you have any comments, questions, um, send me a private message, anything. Oh, and I'm sorry for these little things right here. It's kind of just a demo version. Um, and to make walls, it's pretty much the same thing. Like, um, make that bigger, make it go down, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Well, see you guys later. I will, um...
this is a basic map. I'll be actually releasing the new one in a couple seconds here. Um, I will see you guys later. Have fun mapping. Have fun creating places that all of us can have fun on. I've had fun doing it. You guys will too. Happy mapping. Well, that's kind of the guy. I kind of stole his phrase. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of blabbering on. But see ya. Have fun creating maps.